our hearts to him. Most holy, most righteous God and our Father. Lord, another time we accept this great and wonderful privilege to be here in your presence one more time. Lord God, we're here for no other purpose than to worship your Lord. And so, Lord God, we ask one more time, Lord God, as we present our bodies, our lives before you. Lord God, we present our worship and all that we are to you this evening. Lord God, Lord, we're asking one more time, Lord God, that will touch us, Lord God, from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet. Lord God, we ask one more time, Lord God, that the grace of God be extended to each and every one of us. And Lord God, Lord, we ask that you will come, Lord God, to the, our dwelling place. Lord God, come to our hearts this evening, Lord, and, and may the world, Lord God, even thy world this evening, take anchor to our soul. Lord God, may you change us, may you transform us by the power of the Holy Spirit. And may the life of your people, Lord God, come into the realization that the God in whom they're trusting in the Lord, you're not dead, but you're alive. Lord God, we ask that you will take absolute control. Lord God, of the atmosphere, anoint you, Lord God, Lord, the, the, pre the preaching of your word, Lord, the vessel that declare, Lord God, that you used to declare your word this evening. Lord God, speak, Lord God, back to your people. And may, Lord God, your children hear your voice. Have thine own way, Lord. Of a surrender, we're willing to your hands. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. And we say amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Ain't God good? Praise God. If you have your Bibles with you, let us turn to the book of First John. Four. And we begin reading from verse four. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world. Therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. You may be seated. Praise God. Amen. I'd like to speak for a couple of minutes on the children of God. Amen. The children of God. I think more so this evening as we are entering into this time that is classed as the last and closing time of the Laodicean church age, we are looking more, as the scripture said, the old world is groaning and travailing in pain, looking for the manifestation of the children of God. And so we need this evening to know who these people are. Amen? Are you there with me, church? And so we, we, we want to look on us as individual this evening and we want to understand that we hallelujah that you're that these persons is being that you're looking at that the bible said we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity and in sin we were, we were conceived and we find that brother Branham explained the act of, of conception hallelujah that when your mother was pregnant with you and that body that you're looking at this evening was in her womb, he said, the spirit followed that body. That as soon as the body comes from her, hallelujah, the, the, the spirit, the body catches the spirit. And the, the miracle of birth is the baby would breathe on its own for the first time. Are you buried in the church? And so we, we understand that we are not just natural being, but there's a side of us that is called a spiritual side. Are you there with me, church? But we find by reason of our birth, by reason of sin of the sibling, we find, hallelujah, that that which came into us at birth, we find it was sinful to begin with. 
Are you there with me, church? And so, hallelujah, Jesus, he told Nicodemus, but Nicodemus, you must be born again. He was not just effecting a birth on the outside man, but he was speaking, hallelujah, to that spiritual man of who you are this evening. He said, you must be born again. Are you there with me, church? In other words, hallelujah, there got to be a changing of your nature. Are you there with me, church? Your nature had it that's associated with data. Are you there at the church? You were giving a nature of the world, one that confines you to the natural things. Are you there at the church? You do the things naturally by birth. Hallelujah. And you cannot escape it because by nature, nature associates with the law of nature. Are you there at the church? And the law of nature confines you by the nature of the thing. And so you cannot escape who you are this evening. You are a sinner by birth. And what you need this evening, you need salvation. Are you there at the church? Hallelujah. And so we are associated with death. Hallelujah. The Bible said, the soul that sinned, the soul shall surely die. No wonder the scripture said, the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. Are you there at the church? You've got to be born again. There got to be a changing, uh, not just on the outside, uh, not just a putting on, uh, but the inward man, the sibling, uh, they got to change. Uh, I buried my church. Uh, hallelujah. And the Bible said, uh, Hallelujah, Jesus told Nicodemus, uh, that which is born of flesh is flesh, uh, and that which is born of the spirit uh, is spirit. Uh, he said, Marvel not, uh, but I say unto you, uh, you must be born again. And so for your redemption this evening, for your redemption, hallelujah, you got to come, hallelujah, as the Bible said, as a son. And a son, hallelujah, there's an application, uh, uh, an adoption process. Are you very mature, uh, that brings you back uh, to your rightful position? Are you very mature? Uh, in other words, hallelujah, if you're born again this evening, uh, Hallelujah, you got to come through the processes uh, until full adoption. Uh, are you there at the church? Uh, of this evening, we want to look uh, at the beginning of your journey. Are you there at the church? Uh, because listen, I find something with the message. Uh, it's all mighty and powerful. Uh, when we preach it right up to the capstone, uh, when we talk about speaking the word and all of these things. Uh, but sure, that's not your problem this evening. Uh, your problem is right in that birth. Uh, are you there at the church? Uh, why is it you're not doing what God said you ought to be doing? I bear the church. Uh, so we got to check the birth uh, to see if it is right this evening. Uh, we got to check. I bear it, my church. Uh, hallelujah. Amen. And so let us turn quickly to the, to the book of Romans. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. The Bible said, now, remember now. Your adoption comes in three stages. You're there with the church. Stage number one. Hallelujah, Romans 8. Let me begin reading from verse 14. For your stage is 15. So for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Now this is your position. No, this is your birth. The Bible said, hallelujah, for he have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but he have received the spirit of adoption, whereby you cry, have a father. You're very my church. So listen, before you get into the capstone, before you get into manifestation, hallelujah, you got to be born again. You got to receive the spirit of adoption. Are you very my church? That spirit that puts you into the body. That spirit that tell you that you're a child of God. Are you very my church? That spirit, hallelujah, that makes you belong to God. Amen. Hallelujah. The second stage, verse 19. Hallelujah. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. Now, if you're in the body this evening, hallelujah, are you there with my church? Then you got to go on to perfection. Are you there at the church? Because if you are born a child, then the child must step into authority. 
Are you there in my church? Uh, where he begins speaking as God's speaker. And the very words from his mouth uh, become, are you there at my church? Uh, hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. And your ch- third stage of your adoption, verse 23, he said, not only they, but we also, hallelujah, who have received the first fruit of the spirit, even we with us, ourselves, grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit or to know the redemption of your body. Are you there in the church? The third stage of your adoption is that these bodies got to be changed. Are you there in the church? Hallelujah. But listen, I find something that is phenomenal in this hour. Hallelujah. We all feel good and rejoicing over the word, and that's fine. But church, guess what? We got to go back to stage one. You got to go back to your birth uh, to ensure, hallelujah, that the birth is effective, uh, that it is right to begin. Are you there with me, church? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the Bible said, we have not received uh, the spirit of bondage again to fear. Hallelujah. If you are born again, there's a spirit that comes inside of you. Uh, hallelujah. It's the spirit of God. Uh, the Bible said we have not received uh, the spirit of bondage again to fear, uh, but we have received the spirit of adoption. Uh, I, I very much, uh, a child recognize uh, uh, that God is my father. Uh, and so as a child this evening, uh, you're calling to God, uh, I'm a father, uh, I'm a father. I very much church, uh, because that's what necessita- necessitate the child. Uh, the child recognize uh, that he cannot do it by himself. Uh, all the child do is crying. I bear it, my church. It cries when it's sick. It cries when it's hungry. I bear it, my church. Hallelujah. Because it is just a baby. It's coming up. I bear it, my church. And all the child know to do is cry. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. And so you got to be born again. I bear it, my church. Hallelujah. For you to start crying to God. Hallelujah, there's something on the inside. There's something deep down on the inside. Must recognize this evening that I'm a child of God. I was born in the kingdom of God. I bear it, my church. No wonder Paul told them, if you're risen with Christ, see those things that are above. I bear it, my church. Because listen, church, when the bird comes inside of you, it triggers something. It gives you a shifting or a conversion for the natural things of this life. Uh, and it's not, hallelujah, you start elevate yourself. Uh, you start look beyond the natural. Uh, you start look beyond the boundaries. Uh, are you there in the church? Uh, no one of the people can't get it right uh, because the birth is not right. Are you there in the church? Uh, and so you got to be born again. Uh, are you there in the church? Uh, you say, oh, do I know uh, if I'm born again? Uh, hallelujah, your life this evening. Uh, must be in search uh, for another kingdom. Uh, Are you very mature? uh, You must be reflecting uh, another life uh, from another world. Uh, Are you very mature? uh, Hallelujah. And if you're born again, uh, it changes your entire being. Uh, Your walking will be changed. Uh, Are you very mature? Uh, Your talking will be changed. Your dressing will be changed. You're becoming more conscious. uh, but I got to do it right. I got to get it right. Are you buried my church? Because my life that I live, I'm not living it for myself. But I'm in reflection of another world, of another kingdom. Are you buried my church? Hallelujah. And so it drives me. I want to be in church. I want to hear the word. Are you buried my church? The Wednesday night when church doors are open. I got to be there. I bear it, my church. Even if I'm sick, I got to be in church. I bear it, my church. Hallelujah. When the prayer meetings are held, oh, church, do you see it? For something is happening. Something is pulling us away from our birthright this evening. But I tell you this evening, you've got to get back. I bear it, my church, because your birth is calling for it. I bear I want to get in touch. With home this evening, I want to get in contact with God this evening. 
Hallelujah. And so listen, we find something phenomenal about the same time. Hallelujah. Instead of the people becoming awakening to the reality of our consciousness, but the birth is necessary. The church is falling asleep. More and more, by the way, the dresses are getting shorter. How can this be when the birth is effected in you? The boobs are showing. Oh, my God. Are you very mature? The, the nails, hallelujah, are painted. The heels are cut. Are you very mature? The heels are getting longer. Are you very mature? Something is happening. Something is putting your butt down here. But I tell you in the name of the Lord, hallelujah, if you're born again this evening, you got to cry, Abba, Father, Abba, Father. Are you very mature? You call to God. You look to God because he is your father. Are you there in the church? Amen. Praise God. We have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but the spirit of adoption. We're crying of a father. Are you there in the church? So the natural thing this evening, hallelujah, should not, and I say that carefully, it should not be affecting you. Are you there in the church? Because for you to be born, something got to die. Are you there in the church? Something got to be released. And so, hallelujah, we find something. Hallelujah, that when, when, when pastor, preacher say it, everybody get in line. But as soon as the time get quiet and nobody said anything about it, hallelujah, it creeps back in. Are you there in the church? Somebody's doing it, not because of conscience. Not because the birth is calling for it. Uh, because somebody's watching them. Uh, are you very the church? Uh, but I tell you in the name of the Lord. Uh, children of God. Uh, don't have to be coerced uh, to do the right thing. Uh, they know to do it. Uh, are you very the church? Uh, they do exactly because their conscience. Uh, their birth is calling for it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And so, my, just forgive me this if I love you. Hallelujah. And so, something is taking the place, better, better, better spirit, of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Instead of reading the messages of the hour, no time for that. Are you there at my church? School take me all over. Work take me all over. My friend and my, 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 my relation take me all over. No time for God. Are you very mature? But let me tell you this evening, the Spirit of God is speaking expressively in this end time. He that has it here, let him hear what the Spirit of God is saying. You got to come out of a natural form and become obedient to the voice of God. He's calling you, church. Hallelujah. Don't stop your ears. Don't roll your head down. And he's calling to you. But you got to stop. You got to listen. Are you very mature? Uh, the thing that you used to do, uh, you need to measure yourself. Uh, am I still doing it? Uh, where am I today? Uh, am I at the same position uh, as I was last year? Uh, am I worse this year? Uh, are you very mature? Uh, am I closer to God? Uh, am I closer to heaven? Uh, but the Bible said uh, that God placed in you at birth uh, the spirit of adoption. Uh, his spirit, uh, he put it inside of you. Uh, that spirit will give it the liberty to walk away, to say no to Satan and his systems. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And somebody saying this evening, Brother Garfi, you can talk where you want to talk. Say. It doesn't make a difference with me. I tell you what, it shows that you're not born again. And you need to be born again. Are you buried in the church? Hallelujah, praise God. And so listen, church, hallelujah, your nature was disrupted. That's why you're sick this evening. All the natural phenomena that are affecting you. Can I talk to you this evening? It is affecting you by birth. It is by reason of your birth. Why you're sick with cancer. Are you there at my church? But that, when that new birth comes inside of you, it gives you the, the potential 
to rise above every natural thing. Uh, are you there in the church? Uh, every sickness is affecting you. Uh, and it gives you the power. It gives you the authority uh, to rise above it. Uh, are you there in the church? Uh, they say, as a baby, how can you rise? Uh, but yet you have the potential uh, to cry, I'm a father. Are you there in the church? Uh, my back is against the wall. Uh, Lord, I haven't grown to the position as yet. Uh, but I believe this evening. Uh, but my, the spirit of God is in me. The Bible said, if that spirit, the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead, if he's dwelling in you, he's able for sibling to quit your mortal body, to bring it to life. Are you buried in the church? To put all sort out in subjection to the spirit. No matter the Bible said, greater is he that is in you. Than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so your nature was disrupted from its true potential. And it was brought into a natural form. Where it's now subjected. Jesus of mercy. It's now subjected to this world condition. I am what I am this evening. Hallelujah. No wonder the Bible said. The whole creation was made subjected to vanity, not willingly, but by him who will restore the same in hope. For the whole creation is groaning and travailing, wanting to get back. Are you there in the church? Well, brother, brother, that's the reason you're groaning, because there's a new life that comes on the inside, and it's calling back, hallelujah, to go back home. To be reinstated. Are you buried in the church? And so if you feel the pull, you feel the call this evening. Something from another world is calling me. Are you buried in the church? It seems as I've been there before. Could it be, Lord, that the deep is calling to the deep? There's got to be a deep to respond. Hallelujah. And so you got to make a decision, church. What will your answer be? Lord, Lord I, I'm comfortable. Lord, I'm in a well-paid job. Lord, Lord, my core work and my environment that I'm working requires me to dress a particular way. Church of the living God, don't compare your call with nothing else. Are you there at the church? It is the single most important thing that you have on this side of glory. Is the call of God over your life. Are you there in the church? And see, if you're not born again, Jesus said you must be born again. The spirit of adoption got to come inside of you. Are you there in the church? Hallelujah. Praise God. And so my nature was disrupted. Here am I, the sibling, living below my privilege. Hallelujah. But do you know the sibling? For me to be reinstated, there got to be another disruption of nature. I buried the church. Uh, but the Bible said, uh, Hallelujah, for there is therefore no condemnation uh, to them that are in Christ, Christ Jesus, uh, who walk not of the flesh, uh, but out of the spirit. Uh, I buried the church. Uh, Hallelujah, because the law of sin and death, uh, it subject this body. Uh, it subject me to this life. Uh, but there is another law, which is the law of the spirit of life. Uh, that is in Christ Jesus. When Christ come in you, then you become subjected to another law, even the law of the spirit of life. Can I say that again, church? You want life? It is in Christ. Hallelujah. How do I get in Christ? Let Christ get in you. And let that spirit in you, that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead, if he's dwelling in you this evening, hallelujah, praise God. The sons of God are led by the spirit of God. You're there with me, church. Hallelujah. And so there's a deep this evening. It's calling back. Hallelujah. I said, Lord, what must I do? Because there's something you got to do. You got to look in the mirror. Hallelujah. I said, Lord, is this the image you're looking at? Come on, our church. Lord, is this the person you're expecting to see at this time? Are you there at the church? 
Lord, Lord, is, is my life worthy of the gospel? Are you buried in the church? Lord, am I ready for the rapture? Lord, am I ready if you call my number? Are you buried in the church? Hallelujah, you got to look in the mirror and dress yourself this evening and see where you are. Hallelujah. Lord, have I prayed enough? Lord, have I seek you enough? Lord, have I turned my heart to you enough? Are you buried in the church? Lord God, have I come to the altar when the call was made? Lord God, have I knelt beside my bed seeking after your Lord wholeheartedly? Lord God, have I done enough, Lord? Are you buried in the church? But I tell you this evening, you got to seek a friend before you need one. Are you buried in the church? Because your adversary is not taking a vacation, but he's watching you. Hallelujah. Falling asleep in Zion. Are you buried in the church? I you change your mode of dressing. You change your mode of conversation. You change your friends. Are you buried in the church? I want friends who can associate. Who can, I can talk to them. And they talk back to me. Are you buried in the church? Well, I'm not helping you. It's not putting you closer to God. You better get right with God. How am I doing now? Are you buried in the church? Under the cross of Jesus. I'm going to lay my burdens down. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So here is it. Here is it we are saying. Hallelujah. I remember God called me. I was in the city mission church. And God called me. Hallelujah. Are you there in the church? And here am I this evening. Hallelujah. Do, do you know the same thing happened when Jesus was here? Hallelujah. The disciples were walking with him. They saw all the miracles. They saw all the mighty works. Did that save them? Not one of them. Are you there in the church? They saw the dead raised. Come on, no church. Hallelujah. They saw Jesus, a man. Hallelujah. Walking on top of water. Did that save any one of them? No, sir. Are you there in the church? Hallelujah. And so Jesus himself knew. He said, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die. It abideth alone. What was he saying? Except I die. Except I go to Calvary and release my spirit. Then you can't be born again. Are you there in the church? Hallelujah. What am I saying to you? Is it enough to be a part of the message? Is it enough to say I have the message at home? Is it enough to say I have Malachi 4? No, sir. No, sir. Uh, is it enough uh, to say I'm here under the heading of the word? I hear my pastor can preach. Uh, is that enough for you? No, sir. It's not enough. Uh, it's not enough, church. Uh, every Sunday, son of a Sunday, uh, you come at church, uh, hear the mighty word, uh, mighty preaching. Uh, hallelujah. Is that saving you? Uh, hallelujah. Can that save you? Uh, but Jesus said to Nicodemus, you got to be born again. You got to receive the new birth. Are you buried in the church? You got to receive Christ in your soul. Are you buried in the church? And so when you come and Christ is not being formed into the mage of your heart, it's not doing any good. Are you buried in the church? But I tell you this evening, you got to stop. You got to take an assessment of your life this evening. Am I getting it, Lord? Am I where I ought to be? Are you buried in the church? Or am I far away from you? I'm in a message that preach redemption. I'm in a body changing message. I'm in a message that tells me I can speak the word. And the very word from my mouth become material. I'm in a, in a message. Hallelujah. That if I'm sick, I can call but a spit. I'm the veterans of uh, the prayer warriors. Are you there at the church? But does that give you an edge? No, sir. You've got to be born again. That's your position being here. You have no other reason to be here than to receive that new birth. Are you there at the church? You've got to be born again. And if you're not born again, are you there at the church? Then your nature remains the same. And let me I tell you this evening that the world recognizes that it is in crisis. Somebody knows that they are at the hand. Are you there in the church? Somebody's seeking for answers. Somebody's looking for a way out. Well, what will your answer be? 
when you have heard all these messages uh, that God come right at your door uh, and knock this evening. Uh, he said, behold, I stand at the door and knock. Uh, and if any man hear me uh, and who open the heart's door uh, and let me in, uh, then I'm going to come and sup with them. Uh, I buried the church. Uh, hallelujah. But what is it? Uh, our nature this evening uh, is subjected to the natural thing. Uh, but I tell you, you got to get it right this evening. Uh, you got to get it right. Uh, I you bear it in the church? I can do it, sir. Amen. I can do it. Praise God. Amen. You got to get it right. Amen. Praise God. And so when you are born again, church, hallelujah, it spurns you. Can I tell you, Lord, can I talk about my experience now? You know, when I was in the city mission church, when I just got, go back, get, went back to the church, the presence of God was so real. Come on, church. And I know what I'm talking about. Because I was here in the early stage of this church. I see things happening here that I've never seen happen nowhere else. I, where the, the power of God is concerned. But I find, but we and over the years, hallelujah, the people become so quiet and, and cool. I you there at the church? It's no longer important. It is enough just to feel like a trilling of the shoulder. I you there at the church? And you come in, hallelujah, with a problem, and you leave with all your problem. Oh, can these things be when the living God is here this evening? When one leaves with cancer and goes back with Jesus. Are you buried with church? Uh, this is the bride of Christ. Uh, and we believe she's united. Uh, and we're on the cause of redemption. Are you buried with church? Uh, we believe this evening uh, that when she called to her father, when she said, Abba, Father, he hears and answer prior. How could it be? What has happened to Israel? Is happening to us. Israel had a prophet. Hallelujah. Israel had a message. Israel saw a Red Sea. You think you see nothing yet? Israel saw it all. Israel had the message of adoption. Hallelujah. Israel had the seven seals. Israel had it all. The message of grace. But when Jesus come among them, hallelujah, had it to save them. They thought that they had it all. Spoken word, tabernacle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Could it be this evening that Jesus come right among you? And because you feel so good. Wonderful words. Wonderful messages. I have it all. I have it locked, God. I, I don't have to come at the altar and seek for God anymore. I don't have to come in that earnesty. Hallelujah to seek for God. Hallelujah. Are you very the church? Hallelujah because I've listened to the messages. I've heard the tapes. And I have everything for my blessing. And so when Jesus come to them. Jesus said. Hallelujah. I am the bread that come from heaven. Hallelujah. They said are you greater than our father Moses? Abraham? Are you greater than Abraham, our father? You hear the question of Mark, Jesus? Hallelujah. Are you greater than Abraham? Hallelujah. Our father eat manna. In other, you know what I'm say? We, our father, had it on record. The seed, the tangible evidence coming out of heaven. They had it on record. Are you there in the church? Jesus couldn't have said nothing to them. Are you there in the church? Hallelujah. Praise God. But Jesus looked at the same and said, you white wash of pulkers. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so this evening, he comes to give up the birth, but they rejected the birth by virtue of what they have. How can this be? And so church, I'm going to slow down and tell you this. You have to have a purpose while you're here. If you have no purpose, but about them call you a drifting wood. Anywhere you log, you stop. You float over this side, you stop. You have no purpose. And so if you have a purpose, church, you have to define that purpose. Why am I here? Are you there at the church? And so if you have a purpose, then it gives you a reason. I gotta seek for God. 
I need more of God. Lord, I'm empty. Lord, I'm broken. Lord God, I feel weak in my mind. I feel weak in my spirit. But he promised that those who have the spirit who cry, Abba, Father, he said he will hear you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. I'm closing now. Praise God. And so here it is. Hallelujah. Can I say this to you now? I tell you I love you, you know. If you don't hear me, please. Hallelujah. But listen what I'm saying to you now, church. God, don't adopt the devil's children. If you're not born again, there's no adoption for you. Because God only adopts his own children. What do I mean by that? I'll slow down again. In the natural form, if you choose to adopt a child and you go to the adoption board, they will find an outside child and you assume all the responsibility as parent and guidance to that child. Hallelujah. So you take somebody and spit and call it yours. But it don't go like that in Israel. Are you there in the church? A man adopt his own child. Are you there in the church? And so the first stage of his adoption, he got to be born under the household. Are you there in the church? If you're not born under the household, you have no right to redemption. God of mercy. God only adopt his own children. You're there in the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're you, you saying, turn, Brother Garfield. Let's turn to Galatians 4. Now I say that here, as long as he is a child, differed nothing from a servant, though he be Lord of all. But he's under what? Shooter and governor until the time appointed of the Father. Even so, we, when we, were, when we were children, were in bondage under the elements of the world. But when, when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his son made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them who were, were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of what? Of sons. And because ye are sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your heart, crying what? Abba, Father. Are you there in the church? God, he placed his spirit, hallelujah, inside of us. And yes, we have to be born into the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. But when you are born this evening, your place and the tutorship, hallelujah, and governor, until the time appointed, are you there in the church? Because there comes a time when the child in you, that birth, come on church, it got to grow. It got to come to manifestation, to adoption of son. Are you there in the church? When the very words of your mouth, hallelujah, become the word of God. And as it was with Jesus and Mount Transfiguration, when God said, hear he, him, whatever he says, is just good as my word. Are you there in the church? Hello, but our position this evening, uh, you got to go back uh, to first base. Uh, Lord God, am I getting it right? Uh, Lord God, is the talking apply? Uh, is it in the rightful position? Uh, are you there in the church? Uh, is the blood in its rightful place? Uh, because if there's no blood, uh, there's no covenant. Uh, are you there in the church? Uh, and if there's no covenant, uh, then there's a dead angel. Uh, there's an angel of death. Uh, the Bible says, seeking whom he may devour. He's coming, church. He's coming to kill. He's coming to steal. He's coming to destroy. But this evening, God has given us the spirit of adoption. Are you there in the church? We're crying, Abba, Father. We're sick this evening. Abba, Father. I need a touch from you. Abba, Father. Remember me this evening, Lord. Remember me. Remember me, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're there with my church. We're crying to him. Because God is our father. 
Hallelujah. We glad we close now. Let's turn to St. Luke 20 and verse 34. Hallelujah. And the Bible said, And Jesus answered and said unto them, The children of this world, marry and giving it to marry, but they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world. Hallelujah. And the resurrection from the dead, neither marry nor giving into marry. Verse 36 now, I want you to mark this down. Neither can they die no more, Lord of mercy, for they are equal unto the angel and are the children of God, being the children of the resurrection. Are you there in the church? Come on, children of God. If you receive the Holy Ghost, you have the resurrection. Are you there in the church? And the Bible says you can't die. As much as God can honor me, says on the Bible. Are you there in the church? So if you are born again, if you are a child of God, you have the resurrection. Where is it this evening? It's Christ in me. The hope of glory. Are you there in the church? I can fight this evening. I can wrestle with it. And I must overcome because Christ is in the vessel. I can smile at the storm. I can take on the challenge. Are you there in the church? No matter what, storm clouds may come my way. I have Christ in my vessel. Are you there in the church? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You must be born again. Don't put it as second class. It is the single most important thing that will ever possess on this side of glory. If you have no life, there's no redemption. When you die, there's uncertainty. Are you there in the church? But I tell you this evening, if I was in, I, I'm not just talking to you. I'm talking to myself. And I'm not like I'm preaching to myself. Hallelujah. I need God in my life. Are you there in the church? I need to find him. I find this evening, Satan is finding some cracks. Are you there in the church? Some leverage, some errors that never used to open up. Hallelujah. It means something is going on. Are you there in the church? But I need this evening. I need to call out to him. I need to tell him this evening, Lord, I miss the feeling, that relationship feeling. Lord, I miss it this evening. I used to hear your voice. I'm not hearing it anymore. Lord, all, all I'm doing is warming bench in church. But in the name of Jesus, I'm going to rise up, Lord. I'm not going to stay quiet. Lord God, I'm going to call upon you. I'm going to say, Jesus, thou son of the living God, have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. I need you, Lord. Every hour, I need you. Oh, bless me now. Oh, my blessed Savior, I come to you. Lord God, save me from this Antoine's generation. Are you there at the church? Put your spirit within me. Let me live, Lord. Cause me to come in your presence, O oh Lord. Cause me to drink from your fountain, O oh Lord. Cause me, Lord. Help me, Jesus. I can't do it by myself. Lord God, I've been fighting but too much of my buckles. I'm losing too much for the seeming, Lord. In the name of Jesus, come on the scene, Lord. Come on the scene, Lord. Come on the scene, Lord. Lord, I'm willing this evening to do whatever it takes uh, to be reinstated, uh, to get back, Lord, to find my, my first love, uh, my true estate in Christ. Uh, Lord, God, help me. Uh, from the mire, I cry. Uh, from the pit of hell, uh, I cry unto you. Uh, Lord, you promised me uh, that when I cry, you will hear me. You will heal my land. Heal me this evening. Heal my land, Lord. Save me from the hands of the enemy. I need you, Lord. I need you, Jesus. I need you, Lord. And he promised never to leave you. You know why he suspend the relationship? Because you suspend the walk. And so all it is about here is about what I can get in this life. My big job, my great education, my nice house, better smith. All I have, I, I can show it to you, I have it. 
you know. Well, let's take a walk down a cemetery. Let me show how much of them have them big job. How much of them will be better way in? Well, by education down there. Are you there in the church? And I tell you this evening, in the name of the Lord, the Bible said, the life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. There's more to life, church. And so if you never used to seek, start seek. Because church, something is coming, you know. There's an oncoming storm. And you see, that's why nature is disturbed. I, I don't want to go in another message. But Brother Bradham said nature will be disturbed. You know why? Because the bride's nature will be disturbed. Are you there at the church? And why they're having the 8.1 magnitude earthquake? Jesus said you shall hear about earthquake in diverse places. Are you there at the church? It is a disturbance of nature. Hallelujah. But church, let me tell you this. Why all around us is giving way. And Christ the solid rock I stand. And all of the ground is sinking sand. I have an hunker this evening. And I keep my soul. It's steadfast and sure. While the pillars are all fast to the rock. That cannot be moved. Grounded firm and deep. In the Savior's love. God bless you this evening. God bless you.